Spoolful here with a new product. Um, people have been bugging me for quite a while about doing a uh, the lower part to the intercooler shroud. Uh, the original factory one um, is a piece of crap. It gets 30 years old if you're pulling up, hitting parking dividers, curbs, whatever, or even just over time, they seem to uh, just turn to mush and kind of go away. So um, decided. Uh, People want to see, for the original cars, they want to see the original intercooler, intercooler shroud when you look down into the edge compartment, but they just want to replace this part. So that's what I've done. So what we have here is, uh, this is hand laid fiberglass, made in the USA like all my products. Um, the reason I want to talk about this is how, how to install, how not to install it mainly, because you can screw these up. Uh, you can screw up the shroud. Um, drilling out the old rivets. That's kind of the, the, the tricky thing and what I've found, because I've screwed them up. Um, you don't want to use a drill bit. You want to use a quarter inch ball burr, which is what I provide with the product, a quarter inch ball burr. If you use a drill bit, it seems to grab the rivets that you have to drill out and it spins them. And when you spin them, it creates a huge hole like this that's hard to attach to. So we don't want to do that. So anyways, um, you would think you could drill this in the car and you probably can. The problem is if you try and drill it in the car, um, you can't really get the right angle on it because you can't get straight on the rivets. It wants to be at an angle. Then you drill the head off the rivet. Now you're gonna have a hard time getting it out of there. So you really wanna take the extra 15 minutes and drop the shroud out the bottom, jack the car up and it's, it's not a big deal to do. It's pretty easy. And then you can work on it on a workbench. Um, it just makes it a whole lot easier and it does a couple things. It keeps the bit squared up on the rivet so you can drill it that way. It also, when you, that, that, um, it takes it when you put this thing, here I am, here's the old one. Um, when you put it flat on something, it gives the back of the rivet something to grab onto. I'm using a carpet table here, a little piece of rubber would probably be good, just put to back it up with that to keep it keep the rivet from spinning in there. That's what you don't want to do. And this little ball burr, it's got a lot of little points of contact and it just seems to cut really well. And uh, I can do one right here, keep it squared up. There it is. Pop out, these are steel rivets. They're not brass, so they do, you gotta be smart with these. You can't, um, you gotta keep them squared up because they can be, if, if you don't keep it squared up and drill through there, they can be a pain in the butt. Anyways, take that off. Um, new one is provided with stainless steel hardware, um, stainless steel little cap screw Allen, uh, nylon locking nut so you don't have to over tighten them, don't have to crush it. Um, and then put it back in the car. That's pretty much all there is to it. Just don't screw it up. Don't use a drill bit. Don't try to do it in the car. Do it on a workbench. And um, this should, uh, get you going again and have something decent looking underneath the car that's uh, functional. If you are going to use the factory screen, most people have taken them out. I think that was one of the performance mods. You did pop them out. I have these so they fit really tight up in here in the groove. And these fit really nice. You can see here's a finished product. Um, if you are going to use a stock screen, you will have to grind some little reliefs with a little flat file, boom, 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 where it snaps into, and then you can use a stock screen if you want to, if you plan on using that. If you don't, don't. There you go. Anyways, new product from Spoolful Productions. Uh, thanks for all your support.